Welcome back to another episode of Toon Talk TV, the top animated podcast on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, be sure and like, follow, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon page, patreon.com. We are the television. Exciting big news is dropping. We reached 1,000 followers. We have hit a milestone thanks to everyone that watches these. Thanks to everyone that likes these videos. We really appreciate everything. Bottom of our heart. Thank you so much. We made Let's it. Jump We're huge. Into, we did We're it. We're done. That's Switch. that's it. <laughs> Bob, that's it. Bob is finally famous. I'm famous, and there's no reason to ever do another one of these ever again. So we're important. I may run for office now, dude. I'm a, an important person for president of the United Mick, States. Mick for president, dude. Oh, Mick for boy. president. Wow. Dude. Everyone's gonna uh, vote for you. <laughs> uh, let's just let's fucking jump into this this uh, this tune. It was called um, Viewfinder by Nate Milton. Music by Buck St. Thomas. I'm going to steal that name because that's that a is name. a really, really good name. Name. That's a good name. <laughs> strong name. Um, it is very strong. Uh, nothing against Nate Milton. That's a pretty good name too. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good name. It's name. just not as uh, quite as strong as Buck St. Thomas, but it is. It's good name. Yeah, when good Saint name. is in that's front true. of any name, I feel like it just makes it just top notch. This levels yeah, it yeah, up, yeah. dude. Yeah, levels you're up. Right. Yeah, you're right. Um, Fred. Off the bat, what do you think of this tune? Uh, so I really enjoyed it. I think it has a cool structure for um, uh, in making inspiring work. It, I feel like there is no story structure, but there is in the sense that it's almost like he's just grasping for core memories, and it it made it feel so personal. Bob, what do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. I feel like uh, maybe Nate was just animating for the true passion of animating for all these skits and, and then, well, uh, moments, and then decided on a really cool way of putting it, them together. Because I, I feel like it's weird. These moments, they're, they're so, they're heavy and so nostalgic, but also like really nothing is going on. But I feel like everyone so much is going on at the same time. Like those moments bring like such a core memory to everyone. I feel like those were either very carefully chosen or not carefully chosen at all. It's kind of hard to say. You know what I mean, Mick? I do. I I, first, I don't think I've ever watched a cartoon with this POV. Yeah. Aspect. It's kind of cool. Yeah. That that was very, that was super interesting. Very cool. And yeah, I, I agree that the moments, um, writing down right here what i have written down was um it flowed like a day in the life and it was just a film about moments that's what i wrote that down on underlined moments because there were just these inner little sections of things that could have felt a day in the life swimming running uh going shopping for shoes like they just felt like he was animating his life and i and i thought that was really cool and then the other big thing that i had underlined was swamp water Oh, yeah, swamp water yeah. 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 yeah so i thought that was fucking cool swamp water is a tune that we'll link in the description where you basically just go to the the, the fountain drink section and just mix them all up do you almost all do all of them and that was a moment in this that i thought was very cool yeah and then the last thing i have written down is 24 seconds in you get this nice little guitar riff from buck st thomas that i thought the music played very well with all the moments in in, in this tune uh, you as fans of music yourself, what do you think about the, how the music helped elevate this tune? Oh, I, I feel like it started off. Uh, it, it created the tension that I needed for this. It, it all, it almost, it was very like, it took me through like a, a story. It felt very like started off slow tension rose up to a climax. And honestly, the shot that uh, I feel like resonated me with me the most was the crack in the beer in the movie theater. Like that's, that's a good feeling, you it know? Would. It I, would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the, yeah, that was the end, but I, I'm sure I'm taking like too much out of that, but either way, it's just like core memories, which feel very, um, I don't know, personal. So, but they were also not just core memories. They were stamped moments in time. Because like moments like uh, like watching cops on TV, like (laughs) uh, like you that's those are moments that don't exist anymore. Like the having a a Sony Sony uh, boombox boombox. Yeah, I mean 
those are moments in in an, our '90s childhood, but I can't imagine those resonating as as hard with with you know 2000 era children. Yeah, I would say that they still captured the moment very well, and I feel like it's very hard to think back on a moment and capture it so well. Like, I mean, you can think of a moment of going walking around in Blockbuster. Like that's a moment that's we're never gonna get back. We all experienced yeah. that. But can you it I, I feel like it's it's harder to not just, you know, animate that to make you feel like you're there and actually grabbing yeah, that. Yeah. It and I feel like Nate did that extremely well. Fred, what did you specific I mean, we've talked about the the moments that they have, the music. Speak on the animation specifically. What did you like about the animation style that was chosen for this cartoon? So immediately what came there was one shot where the characters jumped off a cliff oh yeah, yeah the characters reminded me a lot like kablam do you guys remember that nickelodeon show oh yeah mm -hmm. so character style but not not the whole piece uh, the piece felt like painted sketchy yet detailed at the same time it, it felt yeah. like someone who knew how to draw very well but was really just taking broad strokes and and really trying to paint uh, like a memory, which felt really cool. It felt nostalgic and um, and personal at the same time. Uh, what else? I I feel like also the the perspective you touched on it a little bit at the beginning, where where it was POV shots of your where you're getting like I'm looking at my own legs or I'm in a pool and I can see my arms kind of like in front of the frame. It's it's just a cool way to shoot a uh, film. Also, it's called viewfinder, which makes me think of that night like '90s camcorders, like has yeah. that yeah. like square viewfinder that you're looking through. I think that's it. I think like that's exactly why. Nate called it viewfinder. I, I would yeah. guess because I feel like it, it, that is it's a moment captured in time in the 90s. What would be your one moment that you would capture? I have a lot of road trip ones. And one specifically is Mick had a pet mouse as a as a little kid. <laughs> and I couldn't leave it alone going on a family trip to like Six Flags. And so I brought it with me in like the little bitty the, the mouse ball and midway. I don't know, not midway, but like several hours into the trip i look at the mouse ball and the mouse balls cracked open so there's just a little mouse running around in the van somewhere that nobody <laughs> <laughs> didn't know what happened to it <laughs> we eventually found it it was like on my dad's shoe while he was driving <laughs> but like it made it all the way to the front but yeah what about you guys bob you got any uh i would say uh you know how we had that the the crick behind our house back in the day fred yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh we uh there was there was a little crick and there was like like crawfish back there. I don't know how there were like little like crawfish and little animals and stuff, but we were like messing around with them and playing with them and I feel like I I don't know. I mean, may, maybe there still are a lot of wildlife in like the the suburban uh bodies of water, but I don't but think I don't any think crawfish though. Yeah, I know. I and yeah. I'm thinking back on that and like that's wild, isn't it? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that is kind of wild. Sea scorpions, dude. Those are called yes. sea scorpions. No, yeah. <laughs> Overall, I think it's a great tune. We'll link we'll link it in the description below. Nate, great job. We've we related with a lot of these shots. I thought it was well done. Uh, final thoughts, guys. We did good. Good tune. Good tune. Awesome tune. Good great tune. tune. Good tune. Again, thanks again for the thousand followers. Love every single one of you. Like, follow, subscribe, check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash we are television. We'll see you guys in the next one.